we bring you today's press conference held by Senator Robert Dole of Kansas. to see here in this room the hardest working people in the United States, the members of the Senate and their staffs. <laughs> in the House, too. In the House members here? Yeah? <laughs> they are next to the hardest working people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you on this momentous occasion. We are going to welcome back to the Senate our Republican leader. Robert Dole. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> and the prettiest and smartest woman in public life today, his wife, Elizabeth. Bob Dole has been on the hustings, of course, as you know, and we're glad to have him back. He's a man of character and integrity. He's a man of ability and dedication. We are proud of him in the Senate. We are proud of him as our leader on the Republican side of the aisle. And I don't know of any man that's worked hard to put over the Reagan program than he has. In fact, Reagan has made one of the greatest presidents we've ever had, and one reason is that Bob Dole has put his program over in the United States Senate. <laughs> Bob Dole is a man who's fair and just and reasonable. He's a man of vision. He's a man of dedication. He's a true patriot, and no one sacrificed more in World War II than he did. And I now present to you a great American, Bob Dole. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's drama. I kind of like that. Maybe I better change this. It's. <laughs> well, I'm very honored to be here today, and I. Uh, Appreciate all my, many of my, no, most all of my colleagues being here, many from the House, and my good friend Pat Moynihan. Pat, appreciate your being here too. And we're not going to say anything mean about anybody, so you, it's, about, it's going to be a nonpartisan statement. Not going to attack any Republicans. So, in any event, uh, <laughs> but nearly five months ago, I went home to Russell, Kansas, to declare my candidacy for the highest office the American people can bestow. It was only natural that I should begin my campaign for the presidency on Main Street, among those from whom I have always drawn my strength and identity. Today, here I am, bloodied but unbowed, as the poet says, reminding you that there was a special reason this year 
for those of us on the Republican side to walk, or in my case, to run the extra mile. And that reason is the national interest. The nation is entering a period in which there are great dangers and great challenges. And I entered this race convinced that to solve our problems and realize our potential, America requires strong leadership, the kind forged in the crucible of governance, the kind that is sensitive to how ordinary people live and attuned to their extraordinary possibilities. I ran for my party's nomination because I was determined to lead a dialogue on issues that matter, issues that I care passionately about, involving the national offense and fiscal integrity of this country, profoundly interrelated issues I feared would get lost in the shuffle. I wanted these issues to be a part of a crucial dialogue about this country's future. It matters if we have this hostile Soviet client state the Sandinistas are building in our own backyard. It matters if we have this monster deficit looming up like a tidal wave in our future. And it matters how we deal with these issues, whether we mortgage our future to them or whether we make certain that the buck stops here and future generations don't have to pay up because of our cowardice. My campaign has been an appeal for all Republicans to recognize and celebrate the diversity of America. No party can govern that is not truly representative of this nation of nations. And no president can succeed who promises confidence but withholds compassion. I seek his party as strong in its commitment to equal rights as to its military and economic preeminence. For the defense of American freedom, whether at home or abroad, is ultimately indivisible. Its success depends on a House united and leadership with the will to win. Now, I know and my friends know that I'm a fighter, and I don't like to lose. And I make no apology for that. It's simply the way I am. They also know that I'm an optimist. If I weren't, I wouldn't be standing here today. And I have been beaten before, and no doubt will again. But I have never been defeated, and never will be. So. My wife Elizabeth and my daughter Robin are beside me today, as they have been throughout this campaign. We have become even closer because of this journey, and I'll always be grateful for their love and support. Bill Brock and Bob Ellsworth and Nancy Kassebaum and Joe Fogg and countless and hundreds of others, my colleagues in the House and the Senate, staff members and members of the Dole for President Committee all across America, volunteers both here today and across the country, have made this campaign a labor of love. And my thanks seem hardly enough. More than one and a half million Americans have honored me with their support in primaries and caucuses. And for that, I will always be humble. But one thing you learn how to do pretty well in our business is to count. You come to trust your instincts to tell you when it's over. And in my heart, I know that that time is now. And so I congratulate George Bush and wish him well in November, because as I've said many, many times, the bottom line is keeping the White House Republican. That's the bottom line.
So today I've come to the end of one road. But the journey is far from over. When people ask me why I ran for president, I will say because I wanted to make a difference. And that desire will remain with me for as long as I live. Ronald Reagan has made an historic difference for America. He has set us on a renewed course to renewed prosperity, greater security, and more hope and more opportunity for each and every American. But there is much more work to do. So I return to the Senate as the Republican leader, eager to engage there the issues that confront America, and ready to do all I can to elect Republicans in November, and doing I, all I can for our nominee, George Bush. Thank you very much. Today's news conference with Senator Dole will re-air twice on our overnight schedule, just after 1 a.m. Eastern Time and again just after 7.